Hey guys, hope you're doing well. So I went on a Dollar Tree, Target, and Five Below haul while I went to visit my family. I actually did some shopping for some teaching stuff, and I even was able to have my sister, who is so good at art, make some things for me that I just was not able to print, and I wanted to show you guys what I did. So, from, from Dollar Tree, I got these foam dice, and I was able to get four in a pack, and they have all six sides. And I saw an activity where it's like how many donuts are on the sprinkle. And you roll the dice to figure out how many sprinkles you're going to put on the dice. And so I wanted to do that activity because I am trying to, so the whole aspect of it is that I am trying to create, like figure out ideas for quiet time activities because the children that I am working with for rest time right now, they're all four and above, and so they're not exactly, you know, I feel like once you hit four, sometimes even three, you don't really rest anymore, like, or like nap, you usually are like, I'm done, I just want to play, or I, and although some of them will like lay there quietly for, you know, maybe 30 minutes to 20 minutes, most of them just want to talk, 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 and need something to keep them active, so I want to try to have, like, some independent activities and see how that works, so that then, like, they still have to be quiet, but, like, if they don't want to rest, they have, like, the option of, like, reading a book, doing one of the activities that I have available, or, like, maybe a puzzle, and so that is... Some of the other things that I have tried to come up with. So, I also got from Dollar Tree a 32 pack of clothespins. The whole idea of this, because you're probably like thinking, clothespins? What on earth? So, I found multiple different ideas for using the clothespin because you can build things with the clothespin and um, those popsicle sticks. And But then there were also ideas for doing like this different shapes and then they have little stickers on them for counting how many sides and then they would use a clothespin to go around and count the sides. So that is one idea that I did. My sister actually helped me with, um, you know, she made the how many sprinkles because I wasn't able to print that out because my mom's printer at her work the color printer's not working, and that's totally fine, but I really wanted them to be in color just because I thought it would, for those particular activities, like, you know, some activities are like, oh, whatever, they don't have to be in color, but then in some of other activities were kind of like, I feel like it's just going to be more interesting if they are in color. And so, the shapes one, she also did as well. And so then, from Target... I just, I've been eyeing this pillow on Instagram for forever. It says, it has the alphabet on one side, and then on the back it says, now I know my ABCs next time, won't you sing with me? And so I just have been wanting this pillow, and I finally got it. I still can't decide if I want to keep it for me, or if I want to take it to work with me and like put it in in the room for, you know, decoration, because technically I do not have my own classroom yet, I'm just kind of like working with whoever right now, but um, I still would really, so I feel like right now I probably should keep it at home until I know for sure that I am going to be like having a classroom. I like honestly wish I had gotten two of them because they're just so cute and then it's like I could have one at home and then could take one to work just because they are just so fun and then I also got from Target two other things I got these little alphabet connectors and they have something on them as well so they're kind of like a puzzle um and you like connect them and so there's like all the different letters and you use like 
so like for B there's a bug and then like for N it's a nest and so it like has something to go with it and it's really cute because they have things that are like kind of like things that are interested in kids and so I think that is fun because even like for J they have juice which like you know kids drink juice but I mean although some adults still drink juice most of us don't. Um, and then you have, like, you, like, you have unicorn. Now, this one I just was so crazy about is this wood puzzle clock. And I honestly just loved it because not only does it have, like, the 1 through 12 on there, but you can move the little, like, handle so that then, like, they can figure out what time it is. So it's a great way for, like you know, kids to learn what time it is and just also like how to use a clock and so I just could not resist getting that and the, I think the most awesome thing is that everything I got from Target was in the dollar section and so the pillow was five dollars and they had other options for pillows as well. They had one where it was like you know, different skin tone hands in a circle, and then on the other side it was the earth, and then they had one about reading books, and so, I mean, they had lots of different options, and I think the puzzle was like five dollars, well, actually, no, I think, oh, here's my receipt, <laughs> so the, okay, so both, both puzzles were three dollars, but, I mean, honestly, like, good in puzzles for $3, you don't find that much anymore. And both of them are very nice. I will say this one, like, you know, probably, like, the parts of it, like, if they're just stickers, they will probably come off fast. But, I mean, I still think that, like, the puzzle, wooden puzzle one was the one that I was, like, the most crazy about. Um, and then, of course, the pillow. And then, of course, like... I went to Dollar Tree while I was at, you know, visiting family because the Dollar Trees and are, like, so much bigger there, and so I just knew I would find good deals, and, like, the nice thing with the foam dice is you get four different colored ones, and so I have lots of extras of things, and that'll be nice. I will probably just take them to work, and... I want to try some of them tomorrow. I do have some things that I need to laminate. And I laminated one of the activities. I need to finish laminating them. But honestly, like, I started, we, I continued to, I've been working on moving. And so I am just really getting, like, tired from, like, by the time I, like, I'm ready to, like, do other things, I'm just like, okay, I'm good, I'm good, I just want to, like, chill now, so, but I knew I wanted to do a haul video, I feel like it's not that much, but I did not find, find anything at Five Below, it was, like, just so much summer stuff, I mean, and I was just kind of like, eh, like, there's nothing exciting here for me, so, I mean, plus I was shopping mostly for work stuff, but stuff that, and so I, like, because I'm trying to do... I mean, and, like, there's a lot of other quiet time activities that I found that, like, and ideas that I found that are actually, like, you know, ones that I, we already have all the stuff, and that was my goal, was to mostly focus on things that we already have, but there were a couple of that I thought were just too perfect, and I still wanted to do them, and I also, like, had my sister just use construction paper and create the activities rather than me having a pay money to print something off or anything like that, which is great. And so I definitely think that this was a good haul. I'm excited to see how the kids like them. I don't think I will use, so I'm kind of trying to do like the busy bag, the busy boxes idea where like you, you know, each day you have different activities. So it keeps them interested and but, like, I will say, like, the puzzles I will probably have available almost always. The thing is, is, like, these kids are also, like, I have four to, like, five. So, it's like you have these kids who are, you know, some of them are still learning, not like we share. And so, I don't 
it's like that's gonna be like the real key aspect um I bet I also want them to like especially at that age try to start learning about like you know the importance of like okay this is time by yourself this is not time to play like with others like because I mean part of rest time is just like laying by yourself and like maybe you are with other people but it doesn't mean you play with them so I mean we'll see how it goes hopefully it goes well but I am going to like honestly just chill now and probably take a shower soon so let me know what your ideas for quiet time activities are below if you are a teacher or a mom and let me know what you guys have gotten from Target or Dollar Tree recently because I would love to know. I already am wishing I had gotten more stuff at Target, but it's only because I just have gotten into this new show and now I'm like coming up with so many ideas for how I want to organize in my new place that I will be moving into. So I will see you guys soon. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.